Hey nerds, what's up? You can't see my necklace and I'm really sad about it, but it's Harry Potter glasses. The fact of the day is that Hedwig likes to steal my hair ties and he's very excited right now and he's looking at me like he's gonna attack me because I have a hair tie and now he's gonna catch it because he plays fetch because he's a cat that plays fetch. This is the Severus Snape tag. I was tagged by Megan over at Megan Precord. Let's get into it. hate Snape. I really do. I don't understand why Harry named his child after Snape. I don't even like that he got some redemption at the end because I don't like him. I don't think I don't think he was nice to Harry. I don't like that. Severus Snape is always dressed in black. Which book with a black cover is your favorite? The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer is the first book in the Mara Dyer trilogy. It is a paranormal weird book with lots of mystery in it. It's very, very interesting. I really enjoy this book. I actually really enjoy the whole series. A lot of people don't like how the series ended, but I did. Number two, name a character that you love as much as Snape loves Lily, and name a character that you hate as much as Snape hates Harry. Filming with a fucking cat is really annoying. PETA from The Hunger Games. I absolutely love PETA from the moment we meet him he is my OTP for Katniss, and honestly, I don't even think that Katniss deserves PETA because he's so wonderful. Love him very, very much. Damon from fucking Obsidian by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I don't even own the book because I hated it. I hated it. I hated it. I have it on my Kindle. I hated it. It was so... I won't finish the series because of it. I... Mm, no. Number three, Severus Snape was headmaster of Hogwarts for a very short period of time. As headmaster, what books would you require on the reading list? Oh, so many. I'm not going to pull them out because there's so many, but one would be, you know, the Harry Potter series probably, maybe, I would guess, I don't know. Also would very much want everyone to read The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky and Speak by Laurie Hall. Lori Hulse Anderson, I believe, is the author's name. Yeah, Lori Hulse Anderson. The entire Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Mass. <sighs> Why haven't you all read it? Why haven't you all read it? Did you give up on the first one? Because the first one is not the best one. The fourth one is the best one. So you just have to keep reading because each one gets better and better. Ugh. The Ugly series by Scott Westerfield. This is such an underrated series on booktube. Why doesn't anyone talk about it? Allie, you talk about it. Me and you, we got each other. But no one else talks about it. Hedwig is hunting because he doesn't know where the hair tie went. <laughs> you hate me. Number four, as a Death Eater, Severus Snape has the dark mark. What character with tattoos is your favorite? Divergent, um, the girl, what is her name? Tori, I think? The one who gives Triss her tattoo. Number five, Severus Snape made the unbreakable vow with Narcissa Malfoy in order to protect J Draco. What book would you protect with your life? I do have some signed books. I would say maybe Lady Midnight, which is right here, or City of Bones by Cassandra Clare since I just got those signed, and the likelihood of me ever meeting Cassandra Clare ever again is probably really nil. I do have, I think Thro uh, Queen of Shadows is signed, but I didn't actually meet Sarah J. Mass yet. Queen of Shadows is signed, but I didn't actually meet her. <laughs> Salazar Slytherin wanted to ban Muggleborns and Half-Bloods from Hogwarts. What book would you ban from bookstores and libraries? None? What would you, would you ban something? That's awful. The whole idea of banning books is ridiculous to me because you don't get to decide what's right for everyone. You get to decide what's right for you and maybe your family. Although to a certain extent that's not even true. To get off of your high horse and let people read and do what they want to do. Number seven, Severus Snape is both part of the Death Eaters group and the Order of the Phoenix. What book characters would you like in your group if you had to fight off the Death Eaters? Selena Sardothian, Ginny Weasley, Izzy from The Mortal Instruments, Katniss, ooh, one of the vampires, all of their powers are so useful. Number eight, as a potions master, Severus Snape makes a lot of potions. Out of these two options, which would you prefer to drink? One, a potion that turns 
reading books into your job, or number two, a potion that would allow you to write books. Currently, I don't have any ability in writing books. I tried NaNoWriMo, did not work. I just don't have the motivation to do it. So having a potion to get me to do it would be great because then I could write all these ideas that I have. Also, I would love to do what I do basically right now for paid. That would be great. And that is all of the questions. Now who do I tag? Of course, all of the Bibliothon girls would be great. I would also love to tag Sarah without an H, Anais from Clockwork Kitten, Chami from Read Like Wildfire, Molly from Magical Molly, and Kat from Katie Tastic, and Kaz from The Little Book Owl. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Comment down below if you do this tag, link it to me, or if you just want to answer the questions in the comments down below, that also be awesome. Do you like Severus or do you hate Severus? What side do you land on? Because this is pretty a pretty controversial topic for a lot of Harry Potter fans. And I'll see you guys very soon with a new video. Bye!